Hello, everyone. Welcome to 2D Board Gamers. My name is Dave. And I'm Dirk. And today we're going to play Marvel Legendary, the latest expansion, Ant Man and the Wasp. Quantum Mania. And the other two movies as well. So this has got all three of the Ant Man movies uh, Ant Man, Ant Man and the Wasp, and Ant Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. Uh, so Marvel Legendary is a deck building game um, where you take a bunch of heroes and you a bunch of some villains and you and you and it has a story you'll see as we play through um this is one that was on my top 10 and of course dirk had his top 17 or whatever it was <laughs> my, my top 30 deck builders yeah so anyways um let's get to the table and see if we can deal with these villains all right so we're at the table so this first game is is will be our homage to Ant Man. Um, doesn't so the the scheme is kind of from Ant Man and the Wasp, but it kind of works for Ant Man. So this is auction shrink tech to the highest bidder. Uh, so we're using just heroes that showed up in the first movie, so we don't have Wasp. So we actually have Falcon here from um, outside of this set. So he's going to be a little bit more involved in the movie than than he was. Uh, we got Darian Cross as the mastermind. He has Bank Conqueror 6. What that means is if there's a villain in the bank, he gets plus 6, so he becomes a 14. Um, he always leads Cross Technology. That's one of the villain groups we have in here. Um, and then he has, uh, when the Master Strike comes out, he's going to double cross. So what that means is everyone looks at their hand, and if you discard one copy of the highest card you have so if you have like two zeros and two fours or something you would have to discard one of your four cost cards then he transforms so the, all the masterminds in this set are actually double-sided and when he's yellow he can come, come yellow jacket and when he's yellow jacket he has what's called microscopic size changing so that means if you play a technology card um, you reduce his attack by two and this allows you to do up to two times. So you can actually get them down to an eight. Uh, and then each, and then when a Master Strike comes out, each player discards uh, a yellow hero when, with this symbol here, Instinct, I think it's called. Yep. Um, or a size-changing hero, or they gain a wound, and then he would transform uh, back to Darien Cross. Okay, and I'll tell you what, before we start, let's actually pull this up just a hair because we've got some room at the top so we can show our cards down at the bottom. Oh, there. okay. Right. Yeah, let's do that. That's good. All right. And then the scheme, uh, we have 11 scheme twists. Uh, we'll, we'll go over those cards when you see them pop up what they do. But you set aside all 14 cards of a random extra hero that has size changing. So we actually have a uh, wasp here. Um, so I'm playing with her suit, basically, before she gets to use it. Um, when a scheme twist comes out, stack this twist next to the scheme as a... Hostile bid, uh, reveal a random hero from the shrink tech. Um, this turn you may recruit that hero, but it costs one more recruit for each hostile bid. If you recruit it, either KO that hero or choose any player to gain it. If you don't recruit it by the end of the turn, then you stack it next to the scheme as controlled by arms dealers. Um, evil wins when there are eight shrink tech cards that are controlled by arms dealers. Since we're since we're simulating the the first movie, we actually have another villain group. We got we got uh, Hydra and uh, Hydra henchmen. So Hydra was involved a little bit in the movie, so they're going to be involved a little bit more in the game than maybe they were in the movie. But um, yeah, I don't think we get bombed though. No. Uh, <laughs> so we've got. Uh, shield officers stack here. We've got sidekicks here. Uh, new recruits, which is from villains. Um, and this is our wounds. So people, uh, there are different type of wounds now. There's wounds and critical wounds. So uh, pretty much every pile is face down. So why don't you go first, Dirk? Just okay. So, so now first thing, and this will kind of teach as we go a little bit. But the first step you do is you reveal the villain top card of the villain deck so he's got the endless armies of hydra costs four and if you fight them then you you actually reveal the top two cards of the villain deck 
Okay. All right, so this opening hand, I'm starting off with uh, five shield agents and one shield trooper. So I've got uh, purchasing power of five. So I actually think first thing we're going to do is we're going to take an up the ante here. And these replace immediately. Oh, I wish that one would have been there. Okay, so then I'm going to take an antagonize. So I've got two left. And with my two left, I think I'm going to take a sidekick. Okay, and that is the end of my first turn. Yeah, so and it's standard deck builder, so you use the, you had a fight you sent too, right? I had one fight, but I yeah, wasn't so he asked, yeah, so one fight didn't do any good, so he discards your entire hand. Uh, and in this game, you draw six cards instead of five. All right, so we got a scheme twist. Right off the bat. Right off the bat. So a scheme twist says uh, stack the twist next to it, and then uh, as a hostile bid, reveal a random hero from the shrink tech. This turn, you may recruit that hero. It costs one more for each hostile bid. So we currently have one hostile bid. So this is going to cost six. Uh, I'm probably not getting that this yeah, turn. I do not. Well, I could have six money, but I don't. I only have four money. So I have four money and two fight. So the two fight. So this is will be a failure right off the bat. And it is... Uh, controlled by the arms dealer so we have one controlled by arms dealer so we're one eighth of the way losing right now all right so we'll put a die here to kind of remind us um so we're at one of eight okay and i have oh, four okay. bucks to spend so i think i'm gonna get yeah, i intentionally left one of those so that you could get a uh, yeah an instinct so you? this says antics you'll see antics when that comes into play so that's cost me two and I think I'll take this heist card. Cost me one. Okay. I have one left. All right. Okay, so at the beginning of my turn, we will reveal that it is Hydra Spy. So uh, they have a fight ability is when you draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn, draw an extra card. So this one's a positive when you fight them. And luckily enough, I actually have, because of my first hand, I now have three shield troopers, so I have three fights. So first thing first is, let's defeat this spy. So I will get, uh, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to put them on top of my deck to remember to draw. Um, so with three purchasing power, there's nothing here that I can purchase. So I am going to take a shield agent and hopefully get one of the good ones. We do, we got... GW Bridge, and his ability is I can discard a card if I do draw a card. Ooh, that's nice. Right. Okay, so then I will shuffle my deck. So my bad card is I get a Hydra Spy. Fortunately, I had the dreaded 4-2. Four two. Four two. Which means you've got a 4-2 again. Yes, but I can't afford this Falcon and Red Wing card. So this is a split card, which is kind of nice. It's got two functions. All right, so that was my turn. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, plus the extra one for the spy. And then another spy. Wow, those are all coming out quick. We shuffled this, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, let, ooh, I've got Boom Boom here. What is she? Uh, ooh. Let's see. You know what, I'm going to, so Boom Boom hasn't, uh, she's got a couple of different abilities, but uh, when I play her, I can choose one of them. And normally whenever you play a uh, um, a sidekick at the end of the turn, they'll go on the bottom of the sidekick deck. However, uh, one of her abilities is the, uh, the time bomb, which you can choose plus one fight, and you put her on the top of your deck. So I'm going to choose that. So I have one fight, and then I have two shield troopers, so it makes a total of three. And we'll take out one of the Hydra Spies again. And then I have four recruit. Oh, wow, nothing there. So I guess I'm going to take a sidekick. And I'm going to take, since you're only allowed to pick up one sidekick per turn, but the uh, uh, new recruits are limited, I'm going to pick up one of each. And that'll be my four. Into my turn. All right. So you get a bystander. So that spy captures that bystander. Three, four, five, six seven all right well this is not a very good 
hand for me for fighting. So I have I have a petty larceny, which is a heist. So the way heist works is I count the card, different value cards that are above zero, and I would draw the top card of the villain deck. If my number is higher than the victory points, then I have a successful heist. If it's equal, nothing happens. But if I fail, I get a wound. So And heist is an optional ability in this case. Yeah. He does not have to do it if he doesn't want and to. I'm going to choose not yeah. to because... Probably I, all starters. Uh, probably. <laughs> yeah, the rest of my cards are starters. So I have five. I'm going to actually pick up one of these risky... Sun well, let's see. What does this one do? Uh, that's another heist. And we move a villain. That's two fight. You do KO one of your heroes. Oh, you know, I'll take that. All right. So that replacement is... We've got a giant ego for Ant-Man. No, Scott didn't have an ego. All right. So my turn. We'll start off here. Oh, put this back. We have another scheme twist. Okay. So let's see what the purchase options are. So that is the second one. So it's going to cost you six to buy that card. Well, I do not have six, unfortunately. Okay. Well, so I'm not going to be able to do that. So, out of curiosity, what is your fight looking like? Because I've got four I can take on the I have three. armies of Hydra. So I only have three. That, you know what? We're going to go ahead and take them on. Bring out the next three because you'll be able to take this guy on. So, our next card is a Master Strike. Okay, got to resolve that. So, yeah, so he's got Bangkok. Well, that doesn't matter. Uh, so, Darien Cross is going to double cross each player. So, the only doubles I have are zeros. So, I have one single two. So, I'll just discard. And it's what's in your hand? It's what's in your hand. Okay, so I have two zeros in my hand. So, I'll discard one of those. Okay. And then he flips to Yellow Jacket. Okay. And then the second card from and the second one. Sorry. Is... We've got uh, Shrink Experiments. So it's got size changing technology as a fight action. A hero in the HQ loses all size changing abilities, then gains size changing technology this turn. Okay. Costs six to defeat it. Um, oh, I had to use, I used her uh, single point ability, to, so she'll go back on top of my deck. Uh, I have two left, so I'm just going to get a sidekick. Ooh, and it's one of the better ones. Uh, so she. Dirk did not purchase that. So I did not have six bucks. And now this got another one plus three. So that's seven bucks. I only have two bucks. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, six. Um. All right, well, I have a card here with Antics, but I don't qualify yet. I have to have three cards that cost one or two or size changing. That's the only one I got. So I don't get to use the Antics ability, but I still get the fight for it. So that's one fight, two fight, three fight. I'll take out this Hydra Spy. Oh, so you've got a special... It has a bystander. So it's got Officer Jim Paxton. Uh, I may defeat a henchman. Well, there are no henchmen. No henchmen. So that doesn't do anything. But it goes in my victory pile over there. And I have two bucks. I will get a sidekick. Oh, and I guess one thing that we should note, uh, if you've never played this game before, there's two ways you can play it. There's what we call competitive, which means you're working kind of as a team, but whoever has the most victory points in their pile at the end of the game is the winner. Or there's fully cooperative. We play this one fully cooperative. Yeah. So we, Dirk's we not don't to be too concerned about things. we can't trust Dirk when we try to <laughs> we've tried it before I do play just a little bit differently when we play competitive <laughs> yeah. a, a little bit as in the, the difference between fire and ice <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a good description actually all right okay so let's see wow okay we are going to let's see can I do a heist what am I looking at Ooh, you know what? We are going to... I have heisted. I have to... It's... Uh, I'm trying to remember. Does it, is it cards that are already in play? No, it counts cards in your hand, too, right? It's any yeah. cards that you have at the time. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try a heist. So... How many cards uh, there? I have a one, a two, and a three. I'm not playing them. I'm just putting them down to show. 
So I've got three as my highest value. And this one is a four. Wow, I lost. So, so I get a wound. Yep. I did not expect that. Okay. So I do not get to draw a card. Um, well, you did. You did get to draw a card. No, no, no. That's I didn't not a card that you didn't draw that card. I oh. lose that card, though. Yeah, it's drawn into your deck. <laughs> okay, so I've got one, two. We're going to use Boom Boom's uh, Time Bomb ability again, so she'll go back on top of my deck. So that's three fight. I will take out the uh, Hydra Spy, which will give me an extra card at the beginning of the turn. And then that leaves me with two, three, four coins. I don't have any purchasing power, so you know what? I don't normally do this, but I rarely ever get more than two. So let's see. Uh, this is Maria. So I love Maria, but uh, in this one, she is just two coins. So that is the end of my turn. All right. And then this guy comes out. He's five. While wow, the back side of the Mastermind card is in play, which it is, this villain gets plus two and escape. Each player discards a card. When you fight him, you KO. So he's a seven right now. So is there a way? How does it, does it say backside? Or, I mean, we know it's the backside, but it's the side that doesn't say always leads. Oh, okay. Um... I'm going to try the heist. I only have two cards. Uh oh. But... Ready? Yep. So yours is a three. Ah, dang it. So I get a wound. That's not a wound. Why is that in there? I don't know. There's your wound. All right. I'm going to check the wound deck real quick and I'll shuffle it afterwards. But yeah, there's two of these. Looks here. like you had a couple of things got mixed in with the wound deck that shouldn't have been there. Okay, so that's two fight. I'm going to four. I can get to six. Okay, so yeah, yeah nice. Four, five. With technology or without? I do have technology. It's size changing, but oh. so you only get to go. You only have to go to five. Four. That matters. Four. Oh, four. Yeah, that's right. It's two. A hero in the headquarters loses the size changing and gains size changing tech so you can get somebody for one cheaper or two cheaper two cheaper i only have three bucks though that gets you up to five you can get one of those yeah guys well, i can get those anyways but because i had it already has size changing but yeah oh okay um okay and that is my turn oh and so this split card here I chose the fight side. So once that happens, then the this side is turned off effectively. While it's in your hand, it can work as either. But as soon as you play it, you have to pick one, and that's what it is for the rest of the turn. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to play one of the better sides. Bad card. Oh, yeah, bad card. No, I don't want a bad card. <laughs> and so it's the one that you revealed. So he's got uh, size changing technology, and it's the same card as what you just defeated, actually. So... Yeah. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do then is we'll play the, uh, no, not the new recruits. Uh, we're going to play this the uh, base game sidekick, so he allows me to draw two cards. He will go on the bottom of the deck. Uh, we are going to play a new recruits, which also allows me to draw a card. No, I can still get the fight on them, so yeah. leave them out to remind me. Um, so that gives me one. We're looking at uh, two... Do I have antics? Uh, the draw two card sidekick is not from the base game, but it's the first sidekick oh, that came out. I actually do have antics because I've got boom boom. So with antics, I can get plus two fight. So he's a three, so I'll take the die now to mark that. Because I have one, two, three cards that cost two. So he gives a plus two. And then there's another one. So we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, how much fight do you have? Uh, two. Okay, so he's a seven, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to actually use Boom Boom's uh, boomer ability, so she gets a plus three fight, and she will now go on the bottom of the villain deck. Sidekick. Or a sidekick deck. 
So I'm going to fight him while he's larger. Uh, and uh, so he's a seven now, which is why I had to do that, because I was only at one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I didn't actually need to use it. I can't use our other one. I only need the one. Seven. Um, so, and he allows me to KO one of my heroes. So we're going to KO one of the fight guys that I've already played. Um, so those are done. He can now go back to the new recruit pile. And since those are all the same, we do it just doing face up. Makes it easier to remember which stack's which. And I have four coins. So I think I'm going to take, uh, ride the ants. The, uh, original Ant-Man cards from the, uh, earlier game version of the game. Ah, uh, scheme twist. Oh, three, five, five. All right, so this card costs plus four. Eight. Not happening. I have four bucks. Yeah, I don't know that we're going to... I don't think we're... I think it's, there's going to be a race. But yeah, well, we haven't even touched him yet. No. Uh, so three fight does no good. Three money doesn't really do... An, I've got a Maria up. Done. Okay. Oh. No, oh, yeah. Another one. So now it's oh, this one cost me ten. I doubt I have ten. Yeah, I do not have ten. Um, all right. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna play sidekick, draw two cards. Uh, let's see. Two, three. All right, so technically the sidekick is one that's played, so he would count toward my antics. So that's two, four, six. So that is plus two fight. Um, and then I do have heist, but everything I've got either costs zero, one, or two, and I don't feel comfortable being able to pull that one off, to be honest. Um, so we're looking at one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Now this time she will go in the bottom. Because I do not have enough to take this guy out without it. So that is uh, a hero in the HQ loses. Uh, so, uh, we gain size changing technology, which does not help me at all. So um, three, four, six, seven. Um, I have three coins left. Uh, I'm going to take... Jeez, probably these these are getting expensive. We're gonna have to buy them, so I'll take another a Maria. Wow. I just spies. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I've got sidekick, which allows me to draw two cards. Oh well, I earned a fight that I needed from those two cards, so I will defeat them. So I get a plus one hand size. And I have four bucks. Um, okay. One, two, three. Oh, four, I three, took four, another thing twist. Wow. Okay, so this one costs plus six. How many skin twists have come out already? Six. Six. Wow. Two more and we lose. One, two, three. Okay, so four, I got uh, GW Bridge, who is if I discard a card, I can draw a card. So I'm going to discard a wound to draw a card. They give me two, three, four, five, six coins is all I've got. That's not enough. No, you need 11. But. I think I'm going to take the anti-tank weapons. There's so for six. And then he will go to the bottom of the uh, sidekick deck. And a new split wasp. It's hard of six. All right. My bad card is bystander. So, so there's no villains that actually get the mastermind capture. So there's actually two bystanders in there so that's, that's one of the two that's the second one. Oh, that's the second one yeah well that's all yeah this was, yeah, was the first one all right well 
I currently have three fight, doesn't do me any good. Four money, really doesn't do me any good. And I have a wound. So one of the abilities of wounds is if you don't recruit any heroes or defeat any villains or masterminds, you may KO all the wounds in your hand. Well, I only have the watch. But... So that's only basic wounds. There's other wounds that are uh, that have other ways to get rid of them, but that's the basic one. Most of the game has those. Right. But if you also have the other ones combined with that one, you can use that ability to get rid of all wounds. So the other ones make you do crazier things. So, so you can avoid the crazier things. Okay, so my card is... Uh, it's another Hydra Spy. All right, I have a feeling we're almost all Hydra guys at the beginning, so this is going to be a really big deck at the end, so. Uh, all right, so my first card is Ride the Ants, so that gives me a card draw. Uh, let's see, then I will do, let's see. Iced. I've got Antics, but unfortunately I only have two cards of side changing, so I can't trigger my Antics in this case. Uh, but that's two, three flight, so that is enough to fight him to give me the extra card. And then that gives me two, three, four, five coins. Uh, and I'll take the uh, Risky Science. Uh, so we have Hydra Motorcycle Squad. When you fight it, you may gain a shield officer. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt a heist. I have a five cost card, a two cost card, a three cost card, and a four cost card. So I have four. Skin and twist, so it's a zero. So I may move a villain to an empty space. If I do, I can kill one of my heroes. So we'll move him to the one spot. And I've got three five six why well, only need three fight this does not look promising for us no another skin twist this early yeah i'm going to <laughs> ko that card and i use three fight to fight these guys uh gain a shield officer yeah it's open for one of the cool ones um and was that my shield officer i put on the bottom one yeah, he was my shield officer. He shouldn't have gone there. He goes in my discard pile. So I'm going to look at the top three cards of my deck. I can draw one, put the rest back in any order. <laughs> They're all the same. <laughs> so thank you for stating the obvious there, Red Wing. Uh, so I have four bucks. Uh, get one of these. Okay. And, of course, we know that mine is a King Twist that I cannot afford to pay for. It's only seven more than whatever this one costs. That's only nine. I only have four. <laughs> okay, so four and three flight. I do not have... I've only got one point, so I'm not going to try a heist. So, I guess with my four, let's try... Uh, I'm going to try this one first. So I've got three left. Oh, and we'll take this guy. Okay, that's my turn. Uh, okay. Four Master Strike. So each player needs to reveal a yellow hero or a size changing hero or gain a wound. All right, let me finish shuffling. I get a wound. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, does microscopic size changing count? Yeah. Okay, I've got a microscopic. Okay, so I switched to Darien. Um, all right, so I got Lila Miller. Uh, choose a team, investigate for a card of that team put this on the bottom it's like okay uh, so that's can i do the hero deck with investigate i don't remember i gotta look that's a no key. investigate your deck is it oh it's always my deck that's right um i'm going to choose shield hey what do you know um and then when i investigate i can put those on the top 
or I could discard them. So oh, I think I could discard them. Or I can't remember. I could discard them. Put them on the bottom. I don't know. Oh. We we'll have to look at our legend. Investigate's not from this set; it's from a previous set. Uh, but I do get a fight, and that goes on the bottom of my deck. So the top two cards of your deck. If uh, if you find one, put the, the rest back on the top or bottom of the deck. If another deck is mentioned, card will specify. Okay. Okay. So top or bottom. So top or bottom. So oh, I draw one. Of, oh, I draw one of them. You draw one, and the other one can go on the. Uh, yeah, the top or bottom of the deck. I'll put it on the bottom. I'll take the... Actually, the fight doesn't do any good. I'll take the money, and I'll put the fight on the bottom. Okay. Um, yeah, so I got three fight that I'm just... Or four fight, technically, it's because of the one from Lila, but I'm not even going to bother. Well, that's if you're going to even bother using the new recruit. Nope. Don't you draw a card from it? No, he didn't draw the card. Just discard it. We're not. Oh, that's true. Yeah, uh, three bucks isn't doing any. I get this one, I guess. Okay. Okay. So I have a Hydra spy. So I have. You know what? What's your hand looking like? What's your fight looking like? I have three fight. Okay, I'm gonna let you have that Hydra spy. I'm going to trash a wound. And that's my turn. Uh, this guy, uh, Hydra Arms Dealer. You get plus two coins. Usable only recruit heroes with a fight icon. And he's four. Okay. I am not going to perform a heist because that'd be just one. So there's two fight, three fight. So I'll get the spy, which will give me plus one card. And I have four coins. Okay. So my card is... Now we're getting to the big boys. Yellow Jacket Prototype. Uh, one of the cross-technology villains. They have microscopic size changing, so we can use size changing on them four times to reduce their size. So I don't think I can do that right Yellow now. Yellow cards. Yeah, it is instinct cards. They've got an ambush, though. Each player reveals a... Uh, Instinct hero or gains a wound. I do not think I have one in my hand right now. I do not, so yay, I get a wound. And it's a grievous wound. That's okay. one of those wounds that does something special. Now here's the advantage of the split cards. So this is a blue and a yellow in my hand. So I'm gonna use the yellow side for it to avoid the wound. Okay. So and if they if she escapes, then the same thing will happen. She'll ambush again, basically. All right, so what I have here is I'm going to play my uh, Ride the Ants, which gives me a card draw. And then since I that's a technology card, I've now played a technology card, so now I can use this ability, which is I can discard a card. If I do draw a card, I am going to discard a uh, shield agent to draw a new card, which is another shield agent. But at least it gets it out of my hand or deck. Um, and then let's see here. We'll play... Um, Look for the little guy, or look out for the little guy, and that is reveal the top card of my deck. If it is a strength card or has size changing, I can draw it. It does not, so that goes back on top of my deck. So I'm at four fight, and then I've got two, three, four, five recruit. Uh, let's see. All right, we will go ahead and take out the high five recruit or five fight. No, I've got uh, two, three, four fight. So that's him and five recruit. Oh. So I'll do the four fight, which allows me to get two recruit, usable only to recruit heroes with a uh, fight icon or with a, a fight icon. So I'm going to use that. So that's two, three, four, five. Uh, oh. I've got, oh, he's got microscopic size changes, so he only costs two. You have technology? I have two technologies. Oh, and so I can reduce him down to one. Oh, that's this one's five. Five. Oh, plus two. Two. Yeah. So five. So I've got two, four, six. Oh, seven, eight, nine. We will do that. Nine to get this big guy. I didn't even realize that one was there. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a nice one. So we'll do that. And I have uh, two left then. Uh, with my two left, uh, 
Um, I'm actually going to take the hitch a ride here to see if I can uh, take advantage of the cast for the next time I uh, um, side skin comes up to me. Get a shield officer. Okay, so now we're going to do some, hopefully some shenanigans. Let's see. So I'm going to play, look out for the little guy, reveal the top card of my deck. If it's a green or size changing, I draw it. It is neither. Bummer. So no shenanigans. Um, so I will play, walk back. Look at the top three cards of my deck, draw one, put the rest back in any order. Um, let the fight there, I guess. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, one fight short. Because I have a yellow. I can I I, I can I can deal with him though. I know. I would just if I had one more if, if these weren't both money, I could have done it. Uh um, her, I guess. Deal with her, yeah. Yeah. Darn it. Uh, well, I guess I could deal with those guys. So I'm not going to bother with the recruit because I have more than a fight. So there's one, two, three. Uh, that was shield officer, I guess. There's way more shield officers than I normally get. Um, two more fight doesn't do any good. Two coins don't do any good except we're getting a sidekick. So I get thrown. All right. So there's the scheme twist. I do All right. think I'm going to be able to. Well, this only cost plus eight. Yeah. yeah. So we basically lost. It only cost you 11. Yeah. Well, we pretty much lost, but let's go ahead and just do what we can here. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do antics. Um, and. The E has two, and he's a size changing, and I've got two ones, so that allows me to get the antics, so he's a plus two. Um, and then... Why not? Um, so now I have two cards here that have heist. You are only allowed to do one heist in a turn, so I can only do this once. But for the heist ability, I've got three total uh, different cards. So I've got a one, two, and a three. And this is a three, so it's a wash, so I get nothing. Wow. Uh, but, uh, let's see, so he allows me to uh, discard a card. If I do, I can draw a card with GW Bridge. I will do that. See what my card is? My card is a coin. So I've only came up with three coins and three, four, five, six fight, but then two, four, six. So I cannot fight the yellow jacket, I don't think. Oh, no. Oh, he's only an eight. When did he get flipped back down? Uh, what a match strike him. Well, why not? I'm going to take at least one. Oh, no. Uh, he's got Bank Conqueror. Oh, so, so he's a 14. 14. Dang it. Yeah. So I don't have 14. Uh, if you get rid of this, then well, you eight. Yeah, well, I can't, I, don't, I can't do both. So there's two, four, six on the size changing. So she's down to a three. So there's three right there. So I'll take her out. That's all I can do. Because I only have three left now. And that's it. We lose. Yep. All right. This was kind of disappointing to lose that way. Yeah, but. Yeah, one thing that it's worded a little weird. That's what I was double checking because it says. Reveal it as it was a hostile bid. Reveal a random hero, which we did. Uh, it costs one for more for each hostile bid if you recruit it. But then either KO that hero or. But if you don't recruit it by the end of the turn, then stack it next to the scheme as a control by arms dealers. So I'm wondering if it loses hostile bid. That's kind of what I was wondering. But it doesn't. Why would it say for each? No. That, the, yeah, I know. That's why. I, I mean, it's supposed to ramp up and get harder. I would think so, too. So. But it's just so that we're not going through the whole villain deck. I mean, again. I don't know. Yeah, we can. And we can look up a, an FAQ on that. But yeah. But it doesn't matter. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this game can be rough sometimes. Okay, well, anyways, that was our our homage to the first Ant-Man movie. So now we'll do um, Ant-Man and the Wasp, uh, which will have a new villain and some new um, new mastermind and a new scheme. And we'll mix up the heroes a little bit. We'll have some of the same ones come back, but the Wasp will be joining the party as, as a hero instead of as technology that's being stolen. So... 
All right. Well, with that, I hope you liked it. Um, we'll see you next time. Yeah, so please like and subscribe. Hey everyone, if you like that, we've got more videos. There should be one over here. There should be one over here. And you can subscribe down here. Thank you.